Hi everyone, it's Winona the left-handed beater and I am with you and this is the last video of me quilting the monster quilt. I had to take a break. My feet are on fire. They're sitting on a pillow so I don't shake my legs too much hopefully but um, I'm on the last border and so I thought I'd take a break and, and film this so when I'm done I can put this away because I've been kind of collecting a few orders and my AliExpress orders and I wanted to share them with you and I want to put them away so I've got an order from Beetleon which is a boring order but it's stuff that you need and then I've got a, a nice order from Eureka Crystals just a small order and then I've got all my stash from um, AliExpress. So let's start. I'll start with my Beetle on order first. I'll bring it over. I have, if you could see the side of my desk, it's everything is like in mountains right now. I just got too many things on the go. But, okay. So, I ordered the new Wildfire color in the 006 and it is beige. I thought this would go in a lot of places where crystal doesn't work or the green or the smoke don't work, the smoke of fire line. So I picked that up. I got dinged at the border. Like I'll show you everything and, and when I was done, this ended up costing me about $250 Canadian. But I, I got a lot of, like I didn't get a lot of things, but I got like 30 feet of each of the, the um, 19 strands. And it's the 0 0.18 inches. And I picked up the satin copper. I'm really fussy when I make stuff. I want everything to match. Um, I could probably be a lot cheaper if I didn't feel that way, but I picked up the bronze color. And again, these are all 30 30 feet and then as I run out I'll place smaller orders of what I need to refill I picked up the gold color and I picked up the the silver color the color the darker silver color I can get at Michaels no problem so I didn't pick any of that up then I picked up some crimp covers and I picked some up at Fire Mountain Gem as well but this should do me for a long, long time. So I've got, I've got gold, I've got silver plated, oh the glare is really bad. So I've got the gold, and these are five millimeters. I've got the silver plated. I've got this, the copper copper. And I have got the bronze, I think this is antique bronze and I believe I got the antique copper I could be wrong but I think I picked that up at um, Fire Mountain which I didn't do a haul of because it was all this kind of stuff and I put it away right away oh I also picked up gunmetal and these are four millimeters this is four millimeters this is four millimeters oh I guess just the silver and the gold are five the rest are four millimeters and I use the, this is my first time shopping with them, so I use the coupon. I think I got 20 or 25% off. I picked up crimp beads, because I do have crimp tubes, but I don't have crimp beads. So I picked the, this up, the number one pack in multicolors, silver, gold, copper it looks like, and, and oh, it says right here, and the hematite color. I kind of call that gunmetal. I picked up the bead stoppers because I am an avid beater now and I have like five or six projects on the go at the same time. So two of them just weren't going to do. <laughs> so I had to pick those up. And then I picked up the jewelry cleaning spray. I'm, I'm kind of uh, obsessive compulsive in case you guys haven't noticed. Not diagnosed, but and um, I want the jewelry to be clean. So I picked that up. And the stuff I picked up at Fire Mountain was um, anti-tarnish stuff. Um, to package jewelry up if I want to sell it because I don't want to sell someone something and then have it tarnish. So anyway, the, this little bit here ended up costing me $250 because I got dinged $30 at the border. But what do you do? Exchange, our dollar's poor 
and they're dinging you at the border for everything now. You used to be able to get away with a few things, but every item that I have that's over now, I get dinged. It could be due to my AliExpress shopping habit though. Okay, what do we have next? Next we have my order from Eureka Beads. I love watching Gina at Orchid and Opal. And she last month she released a, a selection of colors. So I wanted to do some of her projects and I picked up the, what I need for those projects. But I also, I don't remember if this was on the list, but I saw Emma had this in a haul from somewhere. And I love these. These were on sale, actually. I think I got the last four strands they had. But these are fire polish. And they are six millimeter. And it just says mix. Opal Luster Mix. But this is gorgeous. You know, this would probably go in a couple of the bead boxes from this month, actually. There's lavender, there's cream, like meditation, I'm not sure. Maybe not meditation, I'm not sure. I'll have to look. So I picked up those. I picked up Krakowski Crystal Ovals in a 10 by 14 millimeter. And I think this is for the earrings that she makes. Aren't they beautiful? I don't have Swarovskis. I just have a few, but nothing like this. So I don't have a clue what to compare to. I think they're gorgeous. I picked up Toho 11 seed beads in navy. And I think I'm just going to show them through the tube because I have a lot to show today. So they don't need to go back in the bag. I picked up Mayuki Rounds at 11 0 and White Opal. <laughs> These are nice. What else have I got in tubes here? These are Gem Duos in silver, 8x5 millimeter, two hole check glass, and they're in the silver. I have a lot of the project I want to do with gem duos. I'm gonna. It's Gina's project too. It's tassels, uh, bead on a tassel. Then I have my Yuki Round 15 O seed beads and a Dura coat, and it doesn't say on here. So I think I'll put this back in the two in the bag so I can look it up. But they are like a not a turquoise, more greenish seed bead. I'm, I'm doing a video, Mom. I just decided I couldn't stand any longer and I needed to take a break and I, um, did you? I'll do the video and then I could put this stuff away. So these are a Toho Round Duo size 8 and these are nickel. These are, I like that color. Nickel. Okay. And then what else have we got here? We have got Czech Precocia. Oh, my camera's shaking here. Crystal Bicones, four millimeter, and this is Sistari Blend. These are gorgeous. Look at those. The opal, the white opal is really nice. Look at that flash of purple in the bottom there. That's gorgeous. And we've got uh, Chinese Crystal Rondelle beads, three by two millimeters in blue. These things are tiny, but oh my goodness, aren't they pretty? I'm so glad I'm almost done that quilt. <laughs> and I really have to thank my mom because um, I never would have finished without her help. I was really struggling there. These are a Mayuki Tila two hole seed beads, five by two matte something. I wish they would have the names on here, but these are really nice too. Those are cool. And then I've got ear wires and these symbol earring Spradelica beads. She uses them on the project that she's she does. 
So they're just ear wires. Quite a few in there. Doesn't say and I'm too tired to count. And I picked up some um, needles. Oh, and these half moon frames. And then these tiny, tiny fire polish check glass beads, two millimeter. And they look like they're like a hexagon or something like that. They are nice. I guess they're like the fire polish. So anyway, that was my order from Eureka Seed Beads. And that's all for those projects that Gina does. So I'll put these away and then I can put them away in my project box. And then I'll get on to the Big Alley Express order. I still have quite a bit to come. I, 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 I found that like when I was making jewelry like crazy, I was out of things and I didn't have things in certain colors. So I ordered these. I thought uh, maybe it, I have another order coming in with more clamshells. Um, and I ordered them in gold. And I guess what they call hematite or a, a rhodonite, maybe they call that one, this one. They're just basic clamshell covers or clamshells. I'm not sure what you call them. And, and then the antique bronze or gold, depending on what you call that. So... I got those and I didn't write on them how much they cost. I think they were just over a dollar for the bag and there's there's probably a lifetime worth of, worth of them in here. Then I ordered these. I'm a little disappointed. They're quite small, but I thought I wanted cards to display earrings on. So it they do have the holes, but they are quite small. I think what I'll oh and these were five dollars and sixty six cents. So um I think I'll just make my own from now on. But I just thought I'd give them a try. I can't believe I paid that much though. And then these. Okay, I think that's all the colors I have in those. Oh, see, I told you I got such a mess over here. I have clamshells in gunmetal or hematite, whatever you want to call that. So I picked up some bead caps in antique copper, silver, gold, and antique bronze. And these were $3.24 for a hundred. And they're kind of the fluted ones. Like that. So I didn't think that was too bad a price. And then there's the silver. Oh, my feet are finally, I can feel the relief through the pillow. And the gold. Yeah, that gives you a better glimpse. I can see a little piece where they clipped it. And then the antique bronze. Now I see more crimp, crimps there. Um, so anyway, these were three twenty-four for a hundred, and here's the. I think they call it KC gold. I was hoping it was rose gold, but it's close enough. It's not ama gold, that's for sure. But anyway, so I'll be good in that department for a long time. Then I got some more bead caps, and these were three fourteen for a hundred. And okay, so I got an antique copper, and I'm thinking that's about eight millimeter, just by looking at it.
And then here's the silver. Here's the bronze. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. And then here's the gold. So I think I'll be set for a little while in some of these findings. There we go. So three fourteen for a hundred. And as I run out, I'll probably order more from them. These were three fifty three. I don't think there's a hundred in them, but they're a little bit different. They're actually really cute when you're magnified in the camera. So there's the silver. Did I order? Maybe I ordered a hundred of them. Yeah, but they came in two bags. So there's probably 50 in a bag. I can't remember, but they're the same. And I only, I think I only got these in silver and gold. That's all they were available in. I was really on the lookout for antique bronze and antique copper and copper and rose gold, but you don't see a lot in those. And there's the, the gold ones. And then, and then, and then, and then, I ordered a multi-pack because I wasn't sure. And I put OA because I would definitely order these again. They're really nice. And these were 308 for the multi-pack. And it's got the antique copper and the gold and the silver and the bronze. So all of them, that's a nice little bead cap. And they did have them available in single colors, but I thought rather than order them, and what if I didn't like them, I would just order the multi-pack. And then, like I said, I got OA on there which I'll have to write somewhere else because these will go in my containers and I won't have the bag. Okay, and then I got these. These are really cute. And these were $3.86 for the two bags. And these are just little balls with bling. See, there's the hole. And they're just little metal balls. They're very light and they've got bling. And I can't remember if you could get them each, if, if you could buy them separately or if you had to buy the multi-pack, I can't remember. But they were 386 for the two bags. And these were order again. These were $3.24 for this bag. These are awesome and these are heavy. And they're just little saucer spacers and there's antique copper, silver, antique bronze or whatever. Oh, there's a gold. I think you could get these separately too. And I would definitely order the colors separately. But i um, very pleased with these. Like These really have some weight to them necklace of these would drag you down if you were in the water. Okay. I hate that you get these little things there. Then I made some mistakes. But live and learn. I ordered this multi-pack and these were like $4.42 for the two packs. And I'm Pretty sure they're plastic. Yeah, they're really light. I guess you could still use them, but I'm I'm disappointed. I made a mistake. I didn't read well enough there. So these are all plastic. Well, that, no, they're too light to be metal. Unless, well, I think they're aluminum actually. But anyway, they'll go in, I'll use them. Okay, I think I need to just put them in a dish here. When 
went to Dollar Tree just to buy these dishes and came out buying a whole bunch of other stuff. It's not a dollar store when you buy a whole bunch of other stuff. So anyway, I got two of those. Then this one here is just, ugh. These, these were four forty-two two. I thought these were metal and I would be willing to pay that for metal, but no, they're not, they're plastic. But anyway, Nova's growing up. She'll be making jewelry. Okay, and then what else have I got here on this side here? Got these little round balls and these were 416. And that's for the two bags. Yeah. These might be aluminum. They're really light, but they'll work. They'll work as spacers. It's really garish there, but there's copper and gold and silver in this tray. So I picked up those. And these were $3.93 for the two bags. And they again are either plastic or coated aluminum. They're a neat shape though. And finally these, well not finally, sorry. This is of the spacer type things, $4.35 for the two bags. These are nice, they're like a little melon bead. And I'll separate these and put them in my trays according to color. But those are really cute. And there's a lot of them. And the smaller ones, I don't think you'd even notice if they're not metal. So then I bought some B. Oh, what's this here? Oh yeah, these are nice. These are 257. And I've got order again because these are these are heavy. But they're really nice. And I can't remember if you could order by the color. I certainly hope so, because they're awesome. Let's just put them in a tray. And then after I finish my quilt, I can put all this stuff away. And I didn't write the prices on these, but you can find these fairly easy. These are just some rondelles I picked up. I don't really have a bead bead stash. I have a few things that I can add to my um, bead boxes. So I'm kind of building up on some of those. And there's another strand. These are, they, they look nicer on the screen than they do in person. And then I picked up these. These are a little scuffed up. These were, I don't know if they were, they were two fifty seven, and then they had, there was postage, and then that brought them up to four seventy two. But I think, like they're scratched a bit. Oh yeah, it comes off. It's just surface. So these are, these are gorgeous actually, just for some bigger beads to add and to add that bling. I guess I don't need these all on the screen because I now I'll get into my clasps and that that I ordered. I'll put you guys in here. Might use you in the next few weeks. I picked up some charms to make little necklaces for kids, and these I didn't write the price on. Um, I just thought they'd be cute little. Nova loves her necklaces, and I thought if I do a craft show in town. I'll make some necklaces up and just put some little charms on them for them. Missed the bag totally. And some butterfly charms, but these are like um, connectors. Aren't they cute? I thought they'd be cute on just a plain stretch bracelet. Or even one with made with gemstones. I just thought they'd be a cute addition for that. They were in my cart for months before I actually took the dive and made the purchase. Then I picked up needles. And these are the collapsible needles. Like I do have this container and it was a 
it's multi-size. But I think this is the size and two sizes I prefer to use. I think this is seven centimeters maybe. But these are really thin and they open in the center, just like Emma uses. Yeah, and you thread them that way. And when you make as many mistakes as I, it's really nice to have a needle that threads like that instead of a skinny little hole. So these were 236, and how many were in there? Five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. So I ordered the two sizes because I wasn't sure if I would just take out a ruler, I would know. So I got three in that size, and then three in this smaller size. I do like that size too. Oh, 236, yeah. And this is the P. No, I should save this for last. I'll save that for last. Okay, we'll pull all this stuff over here. And then we'll try to go through it as quickly as we can. And then it could go away finally. Okay, so I picked up, these were like supposed to be better quality um, ear, ear hooks because I struggle with allergies. And these were 780. And I forget how many were in here, but um, this is them. I think they're really pretty. And I think if you're going to sell jewelry, it pays to just, you know, I think quality matters. And these ones, these are ones are plated 18 karat gold. Oh, it's going to feel good to get my desk cleaned off. My mom's been cleaning for me. Aren't those pretty? Like, wouldn't that be a beautiful earring? It is open at the back, but I think you could probably pinch that closed. And then from the same store, I picked up some chain. The chain was $6.55. It's gorgeous. It's a chunkier chain. Oh my goodness, this is this is just beautiful. Let me fold it so I can get it all on the camera. Oops. So this is it folded in four. And there it is right there. Isn't that beautiful? It just sparkles. That's, this is Emma's fault. I totally blame her for this order. This was 665 as well. Oh, come on, open. And this is the same chain, but it's in gold. And it is gorgeous. I love these long, like, paper clip like links. Isn't that beautiful? And then, if only BB, no, butterfly beads is it, would put their pearls on sale. I would make some stuff with these. And then this is an 18 karat ball plated. This was $6.12. And this, and it didn't take long for this to come either. So here it is, folded in four doesn't even fit so I don't really know how much that is but here it is separate that's beautiful and I picked up a couple of these these were expensive sometimes things get slip by you and you don't realize it sometimes you put things in your cart and they're one price and then if they sit there for a while the price changes and then I put my order in and I don't realize because I don't think I would pay $8.49 for these normally. But these are those clasps that Emma likes to use. They look smaller than what she has, but, but I picked them up in a silver. And I picked them up 
in a gold. It says 18 karat plated gold for $8.49. Yeah, that's way more than I would normally pay for something. They are very pretty though. I'll save these for special jewelry. This is more along the lines of what I pay. $1.24 for 10. I guess it attaches at the back. I was just thinking that in my head. And then there's the, the glass part for it. And that's those. And these are $1.24 as well. Oopsie. I dropped something, but I have my pillow underneath so I didn't hear it clang. This is a nice delicate. This is a nice ferny, fairy-like one to me. So we've got that. And these were $1.24 as well for 10. And these have a mermaid on the side. And then there's your toggle bar. I'm almost done then. Oh, thank you. Okay, these were a dollar eighty-four for ten, eighty-two for ten. But I love these. These are the dragonfly ones. Aren't those beautiful? And I didn't have many clasps in this color, so here's another dollar twenty-four. And those are just little, little flowers. And then the clasp. And then $1.32 for 10. This is the video that goes on and on and on. Did I show those yet? No. So those are nice as well. I think I'm good for clasps for a while. These were $1.47. These have a little crown at the, at the top. These were $2.54, but these are bigger. I have these in silver and gold, I believe. So it was just nice to have them in a different color. These were $1.57. Oh yeah. These are those. They actually, they, one of the that I ordered didn't come, but I got two of these and I was going to do a, a, a dispute and I thought, you know what, for a dollar something, it's not worth it. So then I got these for 205 And there's the toggle clasp. These were 282. How do I get in here? This is the color I need, antique copper. So I've got that there. And I got another little bag over here. These were $1.45. Oops. These are nice too. These were 284. And these are that anti copper, but just in the gold. And then these were 284 as well. These are pretty in the silver. It really, it's a really nice silver. So I'll push those to the side. And then these came in a separate order. And these, what did I write on here? Oh, I didn't write anything. So this was before I started writing the prices on my orders. So I've got these hearts and Emma Gold, and they, they're like a lobster claw. That's Emma Gold. 
I got them in KC Gold, which would pass for rose gold in a pinch. And it's the same. I got them in the, the antique silver. I got them in bronze. These are really nice. Like the detail on them is just gorgeous. I got them in hematite or gunmetal, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and I got them in silver, in the bright silver. I promise you we're almost done. Then I got these flower ones and these oh oh they go this way that's why so those are, are nice there's only five in those though and these came in antique broad bronze as well picked up these chains. I thought they would make quick little necklaces to sell. And finally, 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 this is just amazing. This was $10. It was under $10. And there are, I believe, 36 rings in here for a little girl. A little too big for her now. But isn't that amazing? 36 rings for, it was nine something, so 10 bucks. And they're nice. They're really a nice little ring. Can I get the glare off of that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I'm debating whether I should order some of these and sell them at my table. I can't, I think little girls would just love to have these. I know one little girl that, oh boy, she's going to just be in love when she sees all these rings. So anyway, those are my hauls. And now I need to get back to my quilt and finish the last border. And then I can put everything away. Well, actually, I can eat lunch because while I've been sitting here talking to you, my mom made me lunch. I'm spoiled. I know. She's awesome. Anyway, I wish you lots of luck and happiness until we meet again. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.